everyone, it's Justine, the Twilight Stamper, and I just wanted to create a haul video and say a few quick words to say thank you so much everyone for putting up with me the last few weeks that I haven't been posting videos. I moved to Edinburgh, Scotland, and so I just haven't had time and I've been setting up my craft area and trying to organize all that stuff. And now I am back and I'd like to say better than ever, but yeah, who knows. Um, I have some exciting things coming up on my channel featuring some of the products you're going to see in this video. I'm going to be starting my 12 Days of Christmas series again in early November and today you're going to get a sneak peek of a lot of those stamp sets that I'm going to end up using in the series. So if you're interested in getting any products shown in this video, in, down below in the YouTube description I have links to all of the products shown in this video. Uh, if you're a mobile user, there'll be an I up in the corner. You can click on that to be taken to my blog and on my blog as well. There will be descriptions and uh, photos that directly link to the products to different shopping sites. Now, if you like the video, you want to support my channel and everything, I just encourage you to shop through the links. I earn a small commission from some companies for doing that um, because I'm an affiliate. It costs no charge to you, they just give me a small percentage and it helps fund these videos, the products being used, as well as my blog. Alright, so thanks again uh, for watching, being a supporter. I'm almost at 5,000 subscribers, which is super exciting. The 12 Days of Christmas series and the 13 Days of Halloween series are coming up in the near future and I have a ton of prizes and giveaways, especially for that Christmas one. So you'll have to keep watching, so make sure you click the subscribe button below. Alright, so today I'm going to be featuring supplies from the Tom. So Suzy Stamps, All Too New, Clearly Besotted, Winnie and Walter, My Favorite Things, Lawn Fawn, Close to My Heart Simon Says Stamp, and Create a Smile Stamps. So in the upcoming months you're going to see a ton of these products being used, lots of inspiration here. So I hope you enjoy the haul video. Thank you so much again for watching. Alright, so I'm going to try and get through this haul as quickly and as possible and give you a few ideas and inspiration. Um, so the first set I got is from All Too New. This is To The Moon by Altenew, and it's a layering stamp. So you essentially stamp it three times in the same spot, one in the lightest color, one in a medium color, and one in the darker color, and you'll get a really realistic look. Altenew is quite well known for their layering stamps and their layering flowers, and I really absolutely adore their stamps just because they're so unique in that sense. comes with a lot of great sentiments, like you're out of this world, uh, travel to the moon and back, and or I love you to the moon and back, things like that. The next one is another layering stamp from Altenew. This is another great layering stamp where you stamp one, two, and three. It's also got some great leaves on it that you can stamp that are make it really realistic looking. And this stamp is called the Layer de Lily, and I can be using it for lots of different things. It comes with only one sentiment, thanks for everything, but you could also pair it with really any sentiment. The third stamp I got from them is for the 12 Days of Christmas series I'm going to be doing in November. I really like this stamp because it combines a wedding stamp, a sympathy stamp, and a Christmas stamp into one, which I don't think a lot can do, but a church can do that, of course. So you have the Westminster Abbey here. You've got me live ever happily ever after to the perfect couple for two special people on a very special day. And then you have more of the sympathy stamps, like may your family find peace this Christmas or at this difficult time. Uh, our thoughts and prayers are with you, and then you also have the Christmas, where at Christmas all roads lead home, or wishing you a joyous and blessed holiday season. Alright, moving on to my favorite things, I got the concentric circle stencil, as well as the English brick stencil. I absolutely love stenciling, it gives them great backgrounds on one layer cards. Got a couple of dies as well from them. I had been having my eye on these for a long time. These are called the Flutter of Butterflies, and these are really phenomenal dies, um, really intricate dies, and I love butterflies, so I had to get those eventually. I also got um, two landscapes. I got the uh, Paris landscape, which is actually, they're a lot bigger than I thought they would be. They measure five and a half across, um, so they fit across a horizontal card. And then I got the New York skyline as well. I got, because when you order $60 this month off from My Favorite Things, you get this for free. And this is uh, just two lanterns, which I thought were really pretty. For my Halloween 13 days of uh, Halloween, I got the uh, mummy stamp from My Favorite Things. It says, without you I feel hollow inside, boo, just be gauze. And curses, I forgot your birthday. thought that was super cute, and I got the die to match. Next up, I got the Polynesian Paradise stamp. 
this is from last month, and I love the little hula girl, and and then it's got these awesome like toucan birds, a uh, little chameleon iguana thing, turtle, some nice tropical flowers, and it's got some warm wishes and sunny smiles. Thank you for your hospitality. Our friendship keeps me walking on sunshine. Hello, sunshine. Mahalo, la tula. Sending saltwater kisses. And I just thought the sentiments are really cute. Next up, I got another two sets for my 13 Days of Christmas. Now, these are big sets. You can see in comparison to, let's say, your standard size stamp from most companies, you can see how that compares and why they would be a little bit more expensive. Let me zoom out here. So these are from Winnie Walter. And these are really great stamps because, um, again, they're just so big. This is the Winter Wonderland stamp. This wood tree trunk here could be used really for anything, as well as these branches and pine cones. And then you've got this really great uh, tree here, and you can use that, again, really for anything. It doesn't have to necessarily be Christmas, any sort of forest scene. It's also got Happy Birthday, Merry Christmas, Season's Greetings, Winter Wonderland, Thank You, and Just For You. Really great stamp. And I also got um, this one here. This is the Big, the Bold, and the Merry. And this is another stamp. They have a series. They have birthday ones. They have sympathy ones, you know, things like that. And you get a whole bunch of words, so you can pair them together to make your sentiments for your cards. And this is really versatile as well for your Christmas. Because a lot of the times, you know, you have um, your Christmas cards, you have fun Christmas cards, you have religious Christmas cards, and it's kind of hard to find a sentiment for all of those, but you could definitely find them there. Next up is Create a Smile stamps. So, as usual, I got some enamel shapes. Absolutely love these. They look great on cards. And the winter line just came out, which are a little bit darker in color. For my 12 Days of Christmas series, I purchased these chipboards. They've got some stars, some snowflakes, some candy canes. Really, really cute winter chipboards that you could either leave as chipboard or color them. I got the Friends and Couples stamp, which are really great. It has friend, woohoo, couple, love you, and Mr. and Mrs. It's also got some really tiny sentiments here. These are really great because these words, although they look like individual letters, are spaced out to fit in these banners. So that's phenomenal. I think these are meerkats, like Timon. And uh, then we've got some possums here and some birds, which are really adorable. And I'll be featuring those next week in a video. Next, I got the Magic Flower stamp from Create a Smile. I just love their flower stamps. They're so versatile, and I love to be able to watercolor these, color them with Copics, and get some really awesome depth with them. You can maybe do some embossing with them as well. Next up, I have the Smiling Snowflakes. Now, this is a bit of an older stamp set, but I wanted to get it again for my 12 Days of Christmas series. This one has Be Merry, Naughty or Nice, Holidays, Christmas, White, Happy, Winter, Let It Snow, and Wonderland. It's got also four different snowflakes with some really, really cute uh, smileys in them and a few stars, which I really liked the playfulness of that stamp. This is a new stamp from Create a Smile called Wrap It Up. It's got a really, really big stack of presents here that you can decorate really in any way. You can use it for Christmas or for birthdays. It really wouldn't matter. So we have Merry Christmas, we have Congratulations, Don't Open Before, Just For You, A Handmade Gift. And again, it would be just as easy to pair it up with a Happy Birthday stamp. And then I got the letters background. Now, I am considering starting art journaling, so I thought this would be really, really cute to get for a background on my art journals. So that's one of the reasons why I got this one. And so it's just a background. It's on a clear stamp, and simple as that. Next up I have, from Clearly Besotted, two stamp sets. I got the Little Elves stamp, which is super cute. It's got, you know, the elf on the shelf. I mean, I have no idea what Elf on the Shelf is. I just hear it from all my friends who have children about Elf on the Shelf. But I figure, hey, really, really cute. So you can do the Elf on the Shelf. You could just use Elves, and it's got some really great sayings. I just love their fonts because they're really thin. So you have Christmas cheer, naughty or nice, with love, hugs, thanks, I love it. Just for you, happy Christmas, and have yourself a merry little Christmas. Then I have this one here, which got some great critters on it. It's got some bears, some um, water critters like a penguin, a seal, walrus, and a dolphin or a whale. Whale? Whale. And then it's got let it snow, sending warm hugs, cool dude, be cool, chillax, it's the holidays. Another really cute one, and you can pair it with a nice hat or a little antler's headband, which is adorable. Next up is Su So Susie Stamps. Now, Susie is an absolute doll and sent me a care package um, just because, and I'm on the design team, so I got sent my usual ones for this month. Now, these were actually for September, but they didn't come in in time. Um, so I got this one, which paired together. And if you've heard me talk about the Happiness Is series before, there's a Happiness Is stamp, 
and then you would stamp, um, there's a bunch of different ones that come with it. So these are two examples. So you could do cookies in the oven and a broken stale in the trash, and it would pair up nicely with this the baking girl here. Or you could pair it with uh, happiness is an open road and a sunset to chase, and I like to pair it up with this plane. Now I have a lot more from So Susie Stamps, but I can't show you all the stamps yet because I have a wedding series coming up the next week, as well as a Halloween series coming up the week after that. And so I can't reveal the stamps just yet, but you'll have to stay tuned for that because I'll have lots. But she did send me a couple extra goodies, just some of the basic needs, an extra memento ink pad, Tombow Mono liquid adhesive, uh, glossy accents, some mounting tape, uh, window plastic, which is super great because um, it's impossible, so those would be really great for shaker cards. And then some sparkles, some pearls, and a Wink of Stella brush because you can never have too many of those. So a big thank you, thank you, thank you to Suzanne for that. That was amazing. Forgot to show you as well that I got it all to new crisp inks in Coral Berry. Next up, I had wandered down to a local stamping store here in Edinburgh, Scotland. And I picked up a stamp that I have been looking for forever. This is the Schoolhouse Blueprint from Tim Holtz. So I was really, really grateful for that. And if you live in Edinburgh, the UK, you can uh, check them out. I'll link to them below. Really awesome store full of all kinds of goodies, especially Tim Holtz goodies. So I got the Twisted Citron ink as well. The last thing, I think, anyway, that I have to show you is the Close to My Heart haul that I got. So I got some blue glitter and enamel. So what I really like, these come in the same packs. So you get the solid enamel and then you also get the glitter gems, which was great. I stocked up on some enamel dots in Flamingo as well as in Aqua. I really wanted to try this foil tape. It's adhesive. I got it in gold and silver. I thought that would be perfect for my 12 Days of Christmas series. And those would look really nice on cards. Uh, lastly, I got a couple of stamp sets. So I got the this stamp set here, which is a really awesome steampunk Halloween stamp. It's got these really great sort of gears and spirals in the blue, the spider, and the bat. I got a background stamp that's some really nice waves, hexagons, nice patterns. And another honeycomb stamp, which is part two, I think, to the original honeycomb. I love honeycomb stamps. I think they look great as backgrounds, and these ones are just a little bit more bold in style than the other ones. And I also got a sample of all their paper for the next couple catalogs, but I'm not going to go into showing you that because that would take too long. As well as Copic markers, but, you know, they're just Copic markers, so I won't go into details on those. So next up I got from the Tone, uh, I got Elsa's dress, which is kind of inspired by Frozen. You get a whole bunch of little um, bead sequins, or no, these are just beads, and in different colors like the Frozen palette from Disney. Got these really great pink sequins. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Really nice neutral color. And then the stamp set that everybody's all hyped about. I stayed up really late to get these. But this is the bows stamp. And so you can pattern these up and it will create bows. It's a layering stamp again, just like the ones from Altenew. So you would stamp this one first and that on top to give it really some good dimension. Comes in three different sizes. And then um, it also comes with something that shows you how to use them, which is really great. So you can see, stamp this, then stamp this, and you get something like that. Also got the die set for them, so I don't have to spend time cutting them out, because when I'm doing that series, it's kind of hectic, so anything that saves time. And then I also got the stamp here, which has a lot of really great Christmas sentiments. So dashing through the snow, it's the most wonderful time of the year. May your days be merry and bright. All I want for Christmas is you. Baby, it's cold outside, walking in a winter wonderland, and reach, rocking around the Christmas tree. And I love how they have combined different fonts in one sentiment. Makes it a lot easier when you're trying to make dynamic cards. From Simon Says Stamp, I got this stamp here for my 12 Days of Christmas series called Big Scripty Greetings Holiday. And it comes with Noel, Peace, Be Joyful, Seasons, Greetings, Holiday Wishes, Love, Hope, and Joy, and Merry Christmas. So that'll be very useful. And lastly, I got some other ones from Simon Says Stamp from Avery L, though. And this one is the beautiful bow. I absolutely love this stamp. I wanted to get, grab it for my gift wrapping. And then I got this one here, which is stockings, which I thought they were really like sort of Dr. Seuss inspired. And I have a Dr. Seuss Grinch stamp from So Susie Stamps that I wanted to pair that up with. The last one here is from Lawn Fun. I got for Stamp Timber. Um, it was a Simon Says Stamp and Lawn Fawn collaboration, exclusively available at Simon Says Stamp during the month of September. And this is the Merry Christmas, and it's got some absolutely adorable little sentiments and images. 
I got the Ready, Set, Snow. This is scheduled to be day one of my 12 Days of Christmas series. And so I'm really loving how it comes with the snow globe and it comes with sentiments that fit in the snow globe. Everything you need to make a snow globe, so I'm excited to make a shaker snow globe, snow globe card. And lastly, for my 13 Days of Halloween, um, I have the Ghoul's Night Out. Hey, ghoul friend. Happy Halloween haunting. Boo, yeah. And you get these three little ghosts here, which you can decorate in any way you would like, with little hats, faces. It's got different facial expressions, little candies, little heart. Really, really adorable stamp set. So I hope you enjoyed my haul video today. I hope you're not disappointed that I didn't show my new Copic markers. I got a couple in the C series, which are just grays. And then I got a couple um, of the oranges to amplify my Halloween cards. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please stick around um, for my wedding series that's coming up next week, as well as my 13 Days of Halloween that's coming up uh, the week after that, and the 12 Days of Christmas series that are coming out um, in the beginning of November. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Take care. Don't forget to shop through the links in the description on the video below or on my blog. And here you're welcome to click here to visit my blog and the supply list. You can click on the right side on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Or you can click on the video that's playing right now to see my last haul video that I created. Thanks again for watching guys. Bye!